so hi everyone so as i told you before that before we start uh, diving deep into the tensorflow co part or uh, starting with any project i just wanted to give you all a very brief uh, update regarding what all new things have been added in in tensorflow what are the latest updates what tools we have got and some very fun activities that uh, google gave us during the google io event regarding machine learning and tensorflow so starting up with the first update directly uh, as you know the latest api of tensorflow uh, is out that is 2.9.1 you can directly go and start using it a lot of uh, new things have been added up if you want to see them in detail directly go to this documentation i will give you the link in description or you can directly attend uh, the sessions of google io as you can see here and uh, you, the see nightly mode in which you can see the previous ones or the upcoming ones which are not directly stable and a lot of apis were uh, and made for usable things now so coming to the second part you know this 3d portrait have been made using the google api computer uh, computer vision model and uh, for using this you can directly go to this website i will give you it is stored even on storage.google apis and according to the sessions going on in google io they were they told that the image would be first processed by the uh, api which which has been stored on google ai portrait part and then your image would be processed a segmented depth and then the 3d image would be given to you so you can try a lot of examples here you can see uh, a number of examples have been given here one of the example that i would li like to give is drag and drop i would give the data image of tony stark i hope all of you know it know that and as you can see this is the 3d image that we are getting from it the original segmented and the in the depth image and the latency image if i shift it towards a bit right you can see things would change as uh, the expansion is not that much here yeah as you can see now the image looks even more clearer so this is how the process so they have already in the processing will take longer for initialization you can if, if you want you can even download the uh, animation using gif or a web so it's really nice tool made by the relation developers i guess using the google apis present for uh, machine learning and artificial intelligence now the third thing is that uh, 3d calidoface.com and uh, this is also made using the google api versions already present as you can see uh, i have turned on my camera so it's basically taking my uh, image from the camera converting it to a segmented image and from there it is using uh, this anime character to do the same things as you can see i am doing all the same things which is doing it which is it is doing right now so this is really cool even one of my finger if i put up it is going to really do like that and this is how uh, this whole part is working out if i want to tell you the technology used behind it it would obviously be cloud processing computing uh, because i don't think without cloud uh, compu uh, the computational power of cool cloud they would be able to do this so easily so yeah uh, that is it for this now coming to the google ml ecosystem which they have told in very depth this year how they have expanded it so you can see the uh, obviously the tensorflow is present for that and inside tensorflow you can see all the things which are present in tensorflow that is tensorflow js light and the tfx say hello to tfx they introduced a course like that and the tools which are present like ml kit the fairness indicators and collaboratory obviously you know that uh, this is learn with google ai all the resources that would be present for you so the whole system they have made a whole ecosystem of their own for machine learning and artificial intelligence for example you want to start with uh, machine learning on web tensorflow js is for you for production tensorflow uh, extended is for you and if you want to put up an application on android or ios device tensorflow light is there for you similarly they have got tools uh, and the data sets you, you can explore the google data set across computer science disciplines this is the crowd pro source program of there and the data sets uh, data set search system where you can get thousands of data sets across websites and uh, there you go down coming to the cloud part and this whole uh, iot part i would say about how tpu uh, cpu and gpu work about machine learning accelerator if you want to learn cloud google cloud ai it provides modern machine learning services as it is as, as it is written and the cloud auto ml which where you can uh, literally do do nothing such as code 
and make a whole uh, model ready uh, of anything any algorithm you want just using the machine learning expertise present on google cloud so yeah this is it and if you want to learn anything of this i would give you the link to this website uh, in the description section as usual from there you can go and uh, play with this now coming to the fifth one which is the celebrity recognition api which google cloud has just released this google io the request to this api is uh, not available right now you just need to submit this form uh, about your company and use case you can go and submit this form i guess that that is a documentation form and uh, for that definitely uh, they would give you api on request because it's a very pre-built api i would say because uh, it must be getting more and more improved and uh, you can use it uh, start using it from here but for that definitely you would be using uh, and needing google cloud you can access it through google cloud shell directly or directly put it on the uh, collab collab notebook i would rather say the notebooks which are present inside google cloud that is the jupyter notebook and if you don't know how to use it definitely tutorials are present here so yeah that is it for this update session i would uh, i was giving to you from the next uh, video we are going to start with the main tensorflow core part i will try to come up with a project or at least with a, an idea regarding tensorflow js updates and we will build a new a project from scratch which you can even put up in your resume or uh, upload it to the github repository so thank you for watching the video thank you and have a nice day